According to sailors' superstition, women were unlucky on board, and their mere presence would bring them unhappiness. They believed that if a woman boarded a ship, the gods would be angry, causing devastating storms and waves. However, since ancient times, there were brave and fearless women who crossed the seven seas for food, to protect their country, for love or revenge. Want to know more? Then join us on a journey of exploring the mysteries of the past. Until the 20th century, sailing was not recognized as a profession for women, and family ties were required to be involved in the operation of merchant ships. As a result, brave women disguised themselves as men and boarded ships, often with short-lived careers. Even in the pirate world, they were not welcome. But even so, some chose to risk death and sail under the pirate flag. To survive, they needed to master all the arts of sailing and get used to the difficult life of a pirate ship. And many of those that survived will go down in maritime history. For decades, Ching Shi was one of the most powerful and feared pirates in history. From humble beginnings, she started her career as a courtesan in a Tonka floating brothel in Guangdong. At age 26 in 1801, her life was completely changed when she married a powerful pirate named Zhang Yi. The couple quickly built one of the most formidable pirate armies in China. On November 16, 1807, her husband fell overboard in a gale and died, aged 42. Ching Shi effectively inherited her late husband's informal command, taking control over the entire pirate confederacy, while her adopted son Zhang Bao became the official commander of the Red Flag Fleet, with whom she began a relationship and then got married. It is speculated that they were already intimate before the death of her husband. In 1808, a year after Ching Shi took power, the Pirate Confederation became significantly more active. Over the years, she plundered Southeast Asia, assembling an impressive fleet consisting of 400 Chinese ships and an army of between 40 and 60,000 pirates. Her reign was not restricted to ocean waves, as she led her fleets in battle against major naval powers such as Portugal, England, and even China. The infamous pirate maintained a strict code of conduct among her army, had extensive knowledge of maritime navigation and shipbuilding, and was known to be a fearsome pirate. In the early 1810s, pirates began to realize that they were in such a position of power that they could negotiate surrender to the government of Guangdong without punishment or reparations imposed on them. They were so desperate to end piracy that they were ready to legitimize their power in exchange for their retirement. On April 20, 1810, Ching Shi and Zhang Bao officially surrendered to Bailing near Furancho with 17,318 pirates, 226 ships, among numerous weapons. Ching Shi surrendered with 24 ships and 1,433 pirates under her personal command. Zhang Bao was awarded the rank of lieutenant and was allowed to maintain a private fleet of 20 to 30 ships. Ching Shi was also allowed to officially marry Zhang Bao. She and her crews were pardoned, and the men were given pork, wine, and lots of money. In 1844, she died at age 69, having led a relatively peaceful life after the death of her second husband as the owner of an infamous gaming house somewhere around Guangdong. Ching Shi retired as one of the most fearless and successful female pirates in history. Did you know this story? Leave it here in the comments and leave your super like and subscribe to our channel. This is very important to us. Thanks for watching.